Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn about how to write a good project report for your project, maybe in third year or maybe in final year. And if you are doing a degree course or if you are doing a postgraduate degree course, I will be providing you a project report template, which is kind of a ready to use template where just by filling that template, you can start writing your project. This template is available in Google document and the link is available in the description section. We, I will guide you how to make use of that template and completely write your project. A typical project or typical project report consists of following things. So typically you have a cover page or title page. So I have a template for the same. Then you have a certificate. Then you have acknowledgement. Then there is a table of content. Then you write about the abstract, list of tables, list of figures. Then you have you need a list of symbols and abbreviations. And then the chapters of the report start. So there could be many chapters. So but typical chapters consist of introduction, literature view, methodology, experimentation, result and discussion, conclusion and future scope. And references now you can change this according to your need now let us go to the Google document the link is available in the description section now what I will recommend that you just go through the complete video and then you will have a complete idea how to write or how to use that template so that you can write a very effective project report so let us move to the Google document now copy the link available in the description section and paste it in your browser and you will be directed to a template. Now we are in Google Doc. Now you have just pasted this link available in the description section and you will be directed to this page. Now here you can note that this template is not in editable form. So you have to make a copy of it at your end in your Google Drive so that it will become a editable. So for that you can do various things. So one thing is that you can just download this template in the uh, doc file or in Microsoft Word version and you can make use of Microsoft Word to edit this template. But what I will recommend that uh, make a copy of this right. So and give you the title. So let us call it as in my project report now what I will recommend that make the use of uh, this Google Doc itself because if you use the Google Doc it will be very easy for you to uh, edit this template and Google Doc have a lot of features and lot of tools available that will be a very good thing for you so now you can see that we can edit this title right so I can delete it over here so what you have to do you have to just change this template now so you can uh, like just put your name of uh, the project right okay and then you can put your own name right okay and then uh, you can put your degree name right so and you can put the, the name of your branch then you need to just paste the logo of your institute over here then you can type the name of your institute name of your university month and year so this is complete a cover page or title page right then we will move to the next thing that is the certificate so typically certificate have a same kind of an format you can just change these things you need to update the title page okay and then you have to type your own names right and type the name of your guide head of the department and principal and the remaining things you can make change so this your certificate is also ready then you have acknowledgement so you can just change the uh, you can just fill up the whatever data is needed over here and this acknowledgement page is also ready for you then we will move to the table of content now this is the very important part now 
this table of content this uh, actually uh, what i have did, did that this is a kind of a table so if you want to edit this table what i will recommend that just right click over here right and go to the table properties right and if you make one point over here right so you will get the this table but this typically table doesn't good look so we have to remove the borders of the same right okay but for getting the idea for the editing the table you can make use of the same thing and after you are finished with this editing what you can do you can just go to the table properties and make it zero point right now you can see here that almost all the table of content is ready just you have to change the page number at your end and you may have to add the subsection part so typically it have a abstract will be the first thing then there will be list of table list of figures list of symbols and abbreviations right and we are going to see the templates for the same and it is available in the same document now you will be writing an introduction right and there may be some subsections that you want to write okay and if you don't have any subsection you can just remove this part then there will be a literature survey then you have to just make the change in this page number then you have methodology then you have experimentation then you have results and discussion right and then you have a conclusion future scope and references now make a note of this that this usually this introduction will be there there will be literature survey but if you want to change the titles of this uh, uh, chapters okay you can make uh, you can make it right and you can change it to whatever thing you want to do now once this uh, table of content is ready right you can just move to this abstract thing now what is an abstract abstract should be uh, one page so like a synopsis kind of an project right and which is kind of a summary of your project right and which you will be writing over here so all the things are available in the correct format you need to just uh, copy and paste your abstract or uh, type your abstract and things will be ready then we will move to the next page here is a list of tables right so your project report will have typically a lot of tables right so you have to uh, write down a table number to that and you have to write down the title of your table and you have to write down the page number right so similar thing here you can observe that if you want to get a more idea you can go to the uh, table properties right and if you make your borders right so borders will be visible but typically uh, we don't want to see the borders right so i have make it or i have rather hide the borders of the tables so this is your list of tables now you can note that this 1.1 2.1 is related to your chapter number so let us say that if your figure is in introduction part then you can give the number as 1.1 and if your figure is in this uh, or if your table is in this three point methodology then you can give the name as 3.1 and something like that okay then there is a list of figures right so the same thing is for figures so your project report will have a lot of figures so you have to mention the all the figures in this table then you may have certain abbreviations or symbols that you have to mention so you can just go on adding these symbols and their explanation then the introduction part comes so uh, typically what is an introduction so introduction contains the brief background information about your project and the methodology and its implementation and what pro problem you want to solve or what kind of a model you want to develop right so you can just start writing your introduction and you can add the subsections if required and the second chapter is about the literature review so literature review evaluates the current work and the previous work done done on your topic by the various other scholars or various other people and here you write down your understanding about the project and the uh, understanding of other people uh, about your topic uh, through the literature maybe through the books uh, maybe through, through the uh, 
research articles various reports that are available to you now you can just start uh, writing your literature survey or literature review by deleting this text and uh, making it your own then we will move to the next section that is the methodology now what is an uh, typically methodology is so essentially so methodology is a collection of method practices processes and techniques uh, that you are going to use uh, in your project right so usually your project will also have a certain tables right that we have mentioned in the list of table so you have to give this kind of an table heading right so this is a typical table you can make the use of same or you can add the rows or you can add the columns the same and let us uh, note that so we are in chapter number three so i have given this table as uh, table number as 3.1 and similar way you can give the numbers to this table again uh, your project will have project report will have a lot of figures right so you have to mention the figure name and figure number over here and the same should be replicated in the uh, list of figures uh, then uh, the fourth chapter is an experimentation so what is an experimentation it is an step-by-step -step recipe uh, of your science experiment right so so whatever experiment you are doing or whatever project you are uh, developing so how did you did it step-by-step uh, -step you have to explain and that part will come over here and you can just start uh, editing this section then uh, we have result and discussion so what results you are getting you have to discuss those results right so you have to give the interpretation of your results and you have to explain your results their impact and all these things so you can just start writing this part uh, uh, in this section or in this chapter right so uh, note that all these chapters you can add any of the chapters as per your requirement okay then you have a conclusion so this is a very important part so it is a kind of an summary of your complete project right and you have to write down it in a very crispy way so you can start here just by deleting this text right you can uh, start writing your own thing now uh, uh, there may be you if, if you want to add the certain future scope to your project right so you can uh, write down that in this section right and finally you have to add the references so whatever the research papers whatever the research articles or books that you are using uh, or you are making reference in your literature review that you have to add at this point right so this is the typical uh, template uh, that you can make use of now i will recommend that you make the use of this google uh, uh, like document right and don't uh, use the word uh, format use this directly google document because it have a lot of really good features the one feature let us say i would like to show you is that you can add the comments right so what you can say that uh, uh, let us assume that you and your friends are collectively writing this uh, report so your uh, uh, and and what you can do is that you can write down the comment okay so let us uh, you you may write the comment like uh, uh, please verify it right so something like that right so you can add this comment or even if you uh, like share this document uh, with your faculty right and they can add certain comments to this particular report right and that will be really helpful uh, for the collaborative working okay so i hope that uh, this template will be very much helpful for you uh, for writing a good project report and if you like this video just like and subscribe my channel thank you